but he says I also want you to know not only that you have hope you have good things in your future you have good things around you but I want you to know the things that are available to you in Christ an inheritance of Jesus now we knew that Jesus on this earth was not a Bill Gates or Warren Buffett when Jesus passed when Jesus died and he was hanging on the cross the Bible says he did not have much property Jesus did not own half of Middle East he wasn't an oil cocoon where he owned you know rich wealth and all of the members of Jesus' church get a little portion of oil that's not Jesus had clothes and the Bible says the clothes disciples didn't even take him the soldiers gambled them and took him the scripture mentions Jesus had a house but we don't know what happened to the house most likely it did not get passed on and left to Peter or to John so it says Jesus had an inheritance now it's different if we say Bill Gates inheritance lives in you we could probably get happy if we say uh, Warren Buffett's inheritance lives in you but it says Jesus's inheritance you read the gospels he was like well Jesus did not have much he didn't even prepare for his own grave they had to borrow he went from the borrowed womb to the borrowed tomb Jesus borrowed things he just went through life he didn't have anything of his own you're like well that is not very comforting he didn't have much so does that mean I won't have much either no I think the inheritance the Bible talks about that Jesus had and he leaves unto us is far greater than the piece of steel and a horse or a house or a bunch of sheep or goats it talks about something that is a lot more powerful and a lot more greater yes it talks about spiritual inheritance in heaven the Bible says we have inheritance in heaven and sometimes people don't underestimate we underestimate how valuable this inheritance is it takes the I read the statistics today that it takes actually about fifty thousand dollars to replace your kidney to replace your heart it takes about a hundred thousand dollars to replace one of your lungs to have a surgery to replace have your lung replaced it takes a hundred fifty thousand dollars to replace bone marrow it takes a hundred ninety thousand dollars to replace a liver it takes a half of million dollars imagine you ending up in heaven and God gives you brand new liver brand new heart brand new bone marrow everything new and God says you come into heaven you're paying zero now that's big inheritance we don't think about that sometimes for for us to send a person into the moon into the into the space it takes at least 40 billion dollars imagine God is going to escort you into heaven for free not with some kind of a spaceship angels heaven's limo service will pick you up and take you there all free of charge God is not going to give you on a mortgage and then for the rest of the heaven you're going to be paying it off monthly on interest no this is completely free and so this is so amazing that in heaven this beautiful inheritance if you ever build a home or bought a home you realize nice homes are expensive the Bible says in heaven you will live in the nicest home not made out of concrete or asphalt or granite gold all of that what free charge now that's amazing but our inheritance is not only in heaven the Bible says that this inheritance lives in us Paul says right now and the reason why we need the eyes of the Spirit is so that we can see what is available to us today